Well, I, you know, implicit in what you guys were just talking about in the Democratic message is that the Democrats have a problem. So let's take a look at how big a problem it, it might be based on polling and other statistical data. This is a generic ballot basically asking people do they prefer the Democrats, do they prefer the Republicans. And you can see in the blue line that Joe Biden got off to a reasonably good start. He actually bumped up in June to 55 percent when they passed the American Rescue Plan. But since then, it's essentially been a straight a straight down decline and a flip side and a flip over toward the Republican side back in last November. So it's a very, very large swing. And it leaves Joe, uh, it leaves the Democrats, excuse me, about four points behind when you look at uh, where people what people are saying now. But what makes it even a little bit scarier is the fact that it's uh, traditional for the party in power to actually lose seats during the uh, during during the uh, run up to the election. And so if you look at the next chart, what you can see there is a very close correlation between the president's uh, between how this, these polls are done, the generic polls and how much vote share the president's party loses. Uh, uh, the more popular the president's party, the more they lose. Not surprisingly, they're starting from a higher level. And that red dot right there is where the, uh, the Democrats and Joe Biden would be at this moment, which would be possibly losing another 2.4 percentage points beyond what they're pulling behind at the moment by the time you get to election day. And so if you then take that and you turn it into what is likely to be the outcome, you can take a look at the last chart and what you'll see there is that uh, is that the shortfall the shortfall is likely to be very, very substantial. The red circle shows you roughly the potential outcomes for the Democrats uh, relative to the numbers that we've been looking at. And all of that points to a loss of somewhere between 30 and 50 House seats. And that's pretty consistent with what the uh, prognosticators are saying.